So what is the best camera lens? Well, again, just like before, there is no best. It's gonna depend on what situation, scenario you're trying to cover. It could be something you're trying to get a tight shot or a wide shot, etc. Now, I know these are the real link ones, but this is really gonna apply just to whatever camera brand out there because you know, camera lenses are pretty much gonna be the same. You're trying to catch whether that wide angle or just that little zoomed in view. Now these aren't verifocal, so you can't change the zoom on them. They are fixed lenses. And in some cases that's a good thing, which I'll explain later, but these are the real link ones. And this is that eight, 10 series, I believe, and then this is that new 12 pixel or 12 megapixel. It's it's okay, I guess, but it's more megapixels isn't better, but that's not what this video is about. The reason I chose these three is because one of them is a 6.0 millimeter, one of them is a 4 millimeter, or give or take, and then this one is a 2.8 millimeter lens. So it's a very wide angle, a very tight shot, and then kind of mediocre. And thought this would be a good opportunity to show the differences of why you may want one and you may want the other in different scenarios. So let's jump on in. We'll, we'll do a hands-on with some of these cameras probably at the end of the video. I know that way on the boring stuff's at the end, but of course you can always just pick the chapters and jump around as you want for the good information. Well, it should be all good, right? And no, this isn't Johnny Five. I know I kept seeing this on when I put this on the house and it did look like, reminded me of Short Circuit. But this is my little bracket that I, if you've been around the channel, you've probably seen it on some of my camera videos. I can just slide it into different places on the house. The only thing I did make a change, which is pretty cool. No, not the pink jumper cable thing or patch cable, whatever you want to call it. But this is a little PoE switch where I can just feed it one and then it will feed up to four cameras off the back of it, which is pretty cool. I can throw these three cameras around just and throw one cable to it. So pretty cool stuff. Well, let's go ahead. I'm already probably bored some of you and you probably already jumped past this crap, but um, let's jump on in and look at some of the scenarios with these cameras. So again, like I said, this apply is gonna be whatever other brand camera, but I wanted to show you the difference on these specs on the Rio Link ones is you see the RLC 810A, there's a 2.8, they have the four millimeter and the six millimeter. And basically the higher this number, the six millimeter is gonna be a tighter view. So it's more zoomed in. Now that's gonna give you more detail further away from the camera, but it's not gonna give you that wider angle. So you may miss something that you really need to see. But again, if there's something further down like a hallway, then you may need to see more detail further down that hallway. And you don't need to see the stupid walls. That's just a waste of a bunch of camera. I actually have a camera that's 2.8 millimeter up on a gable or an eave or whatever. And a lot of it's wasted view on a roof and you can see part of the gable in there. So probably a six millimeter would be perfect in that situation because it would give me that zoomed in view. Now you may be thinking, well, what about a verifocal one? Your verifocal has got a little motor inside and you can change the zoom level kind of like a PTZ, but just think of it as just a Z camera. There's no pan and tilt to it. But the problem is it's going to happen. You're going to forget, you're going to zoom it in or out and then you screw up and you're like, ah, I forgot about it. And yeah, some of them do have some guard points that can go back to it after a certain time, but there's just that beauty of that fixed lens. And it's just always going to be in that spot that you set it. So on that six millimeter, look at the field of view here. We have 53 degrees wide. It's not very wide. It's a tight, you know, cut in shot, right? Now you look at the 2.8 millimeter. Now I know I have the RLC 12, 12. I don't have this 810 2.8, but it's fairly close. You can see it's a horizontal 107 versus that 101. It's pretty close. 
while I'm here, I want to mention it. I did set the RLC 1212. I did set it to 384 by 2160. So I would have eight megapixels and that way I wouldn't give an unfair advantage to say the other camera. I was trying to mimic hat, not having that RLC 810A in that 2.8. So it's fairly close comparison um, to compare all these cameras together. And you'll be surprised at some of the stuff you can see and can't see between the videos. So I do appreciate Real Link for sending us the cameras to check out. And like I said before, it really gonna apply to all camera brands and stuff. So definitely go out and look what type of millimeter size lens and scenarios you may try to cover because yeah, wider isn't always better. Uh, now there's sure there's some joke there, but um, we'll leave that to the Big Easy channel on my Discord. So. Thanks for watching, and... Oh, it's deep. Hey, I'm All right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Press all the buttons, and y'all take care.